Want to see the family tomb? Ooh, it's nice. Got great uncle uh, Herbert. Great uncle Marsha. He looks so shocked. This guy. Oh, okay. That that'll be um. Uh, this what's guy. his tits? Voldemort and that no. guy. He, I I don't know. I didn't get as good look. Uh, at that one. if I remember correctly, yep, there it is. There's a book we need to grab. A book. The, the book, book of curses. curses. Fuck no. Oh, that seems leave like that prime. That seems. Well, we're know, just gonna leave. No, I'm sure it's fine. It sounds like prime. Look at that. It's got a material. Dracula's coffin above it. Ah, oh. oh, don't worry about that. It's safe. Nothing uh, could go we'll wrong. Nah, nothing could possibly go wrong. Actually, nothing does go wrong with this thing, but... Let's, let's have a look at this book of curses, shall we? It's a nice book. I mean, it's got imperial leather. Uh, it's got a nice binding design. Uh, some gold trim. Uh, yep. Yeah, I mean, hmm, not much we can nope. do with it, though. I mean, hmm. it's titled the book of curses. We know that much. Uh, yeah. Even though the title oh, on the front actually says the next word. There's yeah, a, we can uh, actually get key. our key here. So, if you remember the the silver key from earlier, basically we can use this to get the silver key. Uh, Ooh, we unlocked the book of curses. I wouldn't advise doing that right away, though. I'd advise using the gold key on everything else, and imagine first you'll get everything opened up. Are those things we saw the statues were masks? So we got a mask that speaks no evil, smells no evil, sees no evil, and cannot speak or smell. Or, or see. see. God, we need Gene Wilder up in here with uh, all the hearing, hearing and seeing no evils. Yes. Yeah. That's a good film. It's a bloody solid a film. I love film. that movie. Yeah. I, I absolutely adore that movie. Um, One of the best. It is. Now right, we're going to move on up. Uh, let's head up here. Alright, we're going back up to the house. With a big steel door with bullet holes in it. Hmm, ominous. Very, very ominous. So, what we're doing now? Um, uh, what did I just get? Oh, the key. Yeah, you just got the key, so we can actually go down towards the. I can shotgun, unlock the door down here now. Want. Yep. So, we can get the shotgun soon. It depends how much inventory I got, though. Well,. The shotgun's nearby a chest, so we can actually store. Quite yeah, a few I think items. we gotta go there first, though. Yeah, Which like, is the, like honestly, mm -hmm. once you get to a certain point, item management isn't too much of an issue because you do get these chests littered throughout the mansion, and as long as you just Not go very back far and store between, things. Though. Oh, hello. See that reaction time, boy. I like the yeah, lightning the way it flashes on you as well. It's nice effects, you know. Yeah, it's all very, it's all simple, but it works. these little things just add to the ambience, mm -hmm. if you will, the atmosphere, mm -hmm. the decor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like it. Jesus Christ, it's just fucking in the nice like personal shot, space, Jill. Right, Good um, God. Now that leads uh. to the bag of cement stuff, doesn't it? So yeah, we don't need to go there just yet. But I think this is where what leads to the shotty gun. Uh, I'm never sure because uh, see either this one or the one around the corner. No, oh, that's the bar. It's the yeah, that's yeah, the one around the corner. Then this one just gives um, us pity. I might actually use a health here because I need space. It'd be wise to keep it topped up anyway. So. Yeah, I'm going to remove the plug from the water. But again, just like I said before with the ammo, when I said uh, the ammo scarce, it's not the only thing. Like, throughout this game, uh -oh. you have limited items. So everything in this game is limited. So you can yeah. run out of healing items, you can run out of ammo, you can run out... Like, so you need to be quite careful about uh, how you play through. Again, the game's simple enough, so it's not... True. Needlessly difficult, but you know you, you still have to be quite thoughtful about a lot of things. I need to flush this. Damn, hasn't been serviced in a while. 
Won't surprise me if the I'll leave it for broken. the cleaner, the maid. Mm-hmm. I'll take a dagger though. Alright, let's go find the shorty gun. You think if you have a shotgun, you know, be a member of Stars, but never mind. You think so? It's just a routine mission, though. Mm hmm. Unless it's anything but routine. I don't know, I'm pretty sure zombie apocalypse is pretty damn routine. Well, it's not apocalypse yet, I mean, mm. <laughs> we haven't got to that well, scale. Zombie house is a bit routine, even. Ah, that? it's the shotgun level. I will say though, yeah. that room that we went through earlier with the weather window cracked, yeah. um, uh, we can avoid that hallway entirely in the future, and depending on who you are, you might want to do that. Because, Possibly. Uh, I mean, because dodgy things can happen in that particular hallway if you go through it a second time. I'm not going to spoil what can happen, but trust me, something happens. Alright, uh, you want to grab the old shotgun or only? Yep. Get to uh, get on the ball with that. And there we yeah. are, look at it. Uh, shotguns, as you can imagine, oh, are really, really rhythms. powerful. Really powerful. The six so, of um, You know, you, the shotgun's a handy thing to have. No, However, more badass. Yep. However, if you go and pick the shotgun up when you're playing as Chris and you go through this door... You're screwed. Yeah, you're dead, basically. That was a trap. Uh, if you play as Jill, fortunately, Jill has plot armor so she can get through it, but if you're in this section with Chris, that's it, you're screwed, you're dead. Good day, sir. I mean, we have a shotgun, we can just shoot the door down. You know, that, honestly, that would, that would have worked, just shoot the handle. Oh God. It is a shotgun, I've called it or not. <laughs> yep. Wesker, Unless someone Harry, forgot to reload it, then, you know. There's clearly you six in bullets in there. Stand Even if it wasn't loaded, you could probably Stand back to the door down him. or something. Stand back. Depends how thing you are. But see, that's exactly what he did! He hasn't even got a shotgun, he's got I a know. revolver. I mean, come on. Wow. I mean, it's bloody lethal that gun is. Like, seriously, that thing's stupidly powerful. But, well, uh, yeah. you know. Goodness. It is a powerful one. That was a close one. You were almost the chill sandwich. Fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? I prefer the original dialogue though. Yeah. But Barry, didn't you Honestly, I kind of wish they kept the exact same too? script, but uh, revoice acted it. You can yeah. have the original dialogue in though, by a mod. I to check. Yeah, but not through, anyway, you know, genuine... For no. And Chris. You know. But you can have it if you so wish. Well, that's what I kind of want, I but kind of hope they would have done, honestly, is just keep the original dialogue script, the writing, but have the newer, less stilted voice acting. I mean, the voice acting is still pretty stilted, in my opinion, but... Or have an option like Spy, where you can change like between the different audio, you know? I guess, but in the new Spyro, the audio changing options only change the in-game music it doesn't change the voice acting no but we you know all the voice like acting in like spyro is still redone but, i'm not uh, quite sure what's in here i'm gonna check it out i should check the map next actually uh check the map that's oh, where to go no actually we are in the right place oh back Okay, so I, I think I think you've ran into that same zombie every single session we've tried. No. He always gets me. Uh -huh. I, just, I thought you would have, you know, not, you know, would have learnt by now. Give it time. Mm -hmm. Still annoys me how this. Um... He's a pain, isn't he? Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit. Combine that. It still can be quite annoying how, uh, like, sh shooting people in the head is basically a critical hit, so it's not guaranteed. I have to had happen. one of those. Probably won't get one again. Well, you, you probably will, but it's. I don't know. It's, it really varies. Because yeah. the game kind of has RPG mechanics in that sort of way, like JRPGs, oh, where you have a critical hit chance. Grab but, that. Uh, I digress. Really easy back up again. That, that sounded friendly. No, no, he's dead. One. There's another one up there, yeah. There's another geezer. Uh, we're gonna go in here. Have a gander. Making good progress. This, 
This is the chest room, isn't it, if I recall? Yep, we got a few goodies in here. We're gonna open up our chest first. Uh, so we got handgun ammo. We're gonna shove the save files in there. Don't need any of these yet. Uh, I'm gonna grab this. Uh, we won't be using this canteen yet, but it Not will the be moment. very, very important. Uh, because Basically, those zombies that we've been shooting and killing, uh, they're not permanently dead. I thought you going to say they're not zombies. <laughs> they're just actors disguised as zombies. <laughs> oh god, those poor actors. But yeah, they're not permanently dead. Um, they are basically just going to lie there until a certain amount of time passes. And then they can morph into a new type of an enemy called a Crimson Head, which... I don't think Crimson Heads were in the original PS1 game, were they? Um, not that I know. I yeah, can't recall something they, exactly. That's something they added for the remake. But basically, uh, they become extremely ferocious. Um, and a lot of the shotgun in here for now. If you basically don't dispose of the bodies. So once you get the light, the light up with that fuel canteen later on, you'll be able to dispose of the bodies and it'll make your journey a little bit safer. Alright, we're done in here for now. Excellent, excellent. I want to say we take a trip upstairs, see what's going on. Aye, I, I agree. Let's see if there's any decent goodies up around here. No, there's bound to be one, I mean. Oh, hey, you are right, there is one. Quick, throw a knife. Da -da 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 Stick it. Stab man, stab man. Oh. I don't think he was amused by that. Don't forget to run away, otherwise you're gonna die. Zombies! Zombies! He dead? Yeah, he's... No, no yeah. he's not. He's, he's still there. Wow, this guy's a resilient sword, isn't he? Now he's dead. No one can take that many bullets and get back up. Well, technically, aren't they all undead? <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they're all zombies. <laughs> he didn't get back up, though. There's my no point stands. Door. Oh my. Which begs to differ. Why can't I just kick it in? I'm a stars operative. Uh, I, I don't know. I, There's I zombies can... around the mansion. We shove the authority to kick that door in. I'm pretty certain that's a part of basic training for every, oh. like, anyone in, in a military rank to be able to knock down a door. We will be so grabbing I quite, this. I don't quite understand how the characters don't really work out. Oh, I can boot this door down. I mean, I would Give say the maybe they're trying two. to be respectful to the owners of the mansion, but it's a bit late for that. The mansion's filled with zombies, and you shot it all up. <laughs> yeah, I would say they need, like, um, some reason, but I think they have plenty. <laughs> with the zombies running around, so I think they have the, you know, the thing. We're going to take the dog whistle, by the way. Now, Jim, Ooh. you want to do the honors of reading Crumb of the Bible? Okay. Uh, I take it away. Good voice. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something when no one could hide it, find it even. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal, like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. Me? The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Yeah, when I laugh. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get hold of? Oh yeah, I remember. Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for the both of us. John Tolman. <laughs> Sounds like an ad you see on TV. <laughs> but, yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Take some more yes. handgun ammo. 
Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Now we should this... have picked, brought the canteen with us because here we find the uh, cigarette yeah, lighter. Yeah, here's, here's the lighter. We'll I mean, have to we go can and get grab the canteen a bit later on. It's, we're not. We don't need to rush. Oh, no, I'm gonna get, uh... grab it so I can do the the thing with the board and you know. The thing with the board. The board. Oh, the board. Because it's literally oh, not the right. board. Yes, right? so yes, yes. So to I'm explain, to, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, what we're about to do is actually we're going to solve a mini puzzle to get hold of the map of the second floor. I dimension. went around the wrong door. Okay. Um, although you can one. actually go through this entire game without ever you using can. the wooden board I mean, we picked up. I I like to do it. Might as well show others. I don't know what it's for. Yeah, and it's it's kind of handy anyway because as we go through the mansion, the map fills up anyway. But with this, it just basically means we'll have the entire floor plan already. Handy in it, really. On hand, so we can just look and see. Okay, we've been here. We've done this level. Th this level. This room. Uh, In fact, so actually, go, uh, once you've checked out the the chests and redone your inventory, do you mind looking at the map real quick? I wanna I can. explain. I can. Lava handgun and that. Actually, I can just put that in the queue. I have to pop back the lob that away after as well. Ah. Uh. uh so now we're gonna go find where we use these items. We need the wooden board, we need a lighter, and a fuel canteen which is filled. Otherwise, this Excellent. won't work. So we do need those so items. Yeah, can you can you have a quick look at the map, please? Quick oh yeah. Um, um. Wrong one. Um, no, that was the correct place, John. That was in was that menu. No, the Y menu, Y <laughs> button. Hold on. It's it's right there. It says the word map. John, Hold have on. you played video games before? I have. There's right. an easier button to get that map. Up. Which one is it? Uh, maybe the back button. The button, maybe. No. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I I'm not sure. I never but get to the describe map this way. things. Uh, as you can tell, red rooms are basically rooms you haven't finished, and anything in green or this. It's not really green. It's like a well, it's greenish. Anyway, it's in lime. the disgusting color, lime. All right, there you go. That works. Anything in the lime color will be basically rooms you've explored fully, and you can use this as a really good guide in order to find um, what you've done and what you haven't done in this mansion. So it, it helps. It definitely helps you in progressing. It does that. It's something I advise always looking at if you don't know where to go next, because chances are you just missed one thing in a certain room. That will be the key to the next part of the of the mansion. Because really, this mansion is literally just a giant puzzle. That's the best way of describing it. You just need to... It's all about figuring out what to do to get to the next area. That is true. Making sure you have enough items and whatnot. 